If you're heading over toward Baton Rouge this evening, that's where our thunderstorms are. Some locally heavy rain, all that continuing to push out of our area. And we still have some thunderstorms over toward Gulfport. And we had some heavy downpours very quickly over toward the Slidell area just a couple of hours ago. Picked up over an inch and a quarter there. Over a tenth down toward Galliano, six tenths over toward Gulfport and here's the result from the rainfall and all the cloud cover temperatures only in the 70s and 80s for most of us. Bogalusa still at 94 and that's because you haven't had that rainfall or that cooler air that's moved in behind it and heat index value is 107 in Bogalusa. We did have that excessive heat warning earlier, uh, but it was canceled because it's not bad. It's feeling OK as we go into the rest of your evening, but did want to make you aware as we go into your Sunday, we do have another heat advisory that will go into play 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Heat index values up to 110. That's for all the areas highlighted here. So most of southeast Louisiana, excluding the coast and then all along the Mississippi coastline feels like temperatures as we go into the afternoon tomorrow again will be in that triple digit range. If you have some rainfall around, that's where those temperatures kind of drop. That's what it's kind of showing for Slidell. We may have some rain around in the afternoon and that will help to cool things off just a bit. So looking at the big picture, we have a frontal boundary that stalled just to the north, but we are going to see this front pushing toward the south and that's going to influence our rain chances as we go into Monday and Tuesday, but it's really going to snap us out of this heat streak that we've been in for the past week. It's not going to bring cold weather to say, but it will bring uh, some slightly cooler temperatures for us as we go into next week. High did manage to get up to 96 today. That was at noon before the cloud cover and the cooler temps moved in. The record was 98, and I think if we didn't have the cloud cover and rain around, we probably would have tied that or broken it today. Bogalusa did get up to 97, and so we all still got up into the 90s today, but it still felt kind of nice outside a couple hours ago with the cooler conditions. So we'll see the rainfall taper off overnight going into your Sunday morning. Temperature starting out into the 70s. A few showers down along the coast as we heat up during the day into the afternoon. You see temperatures already by 1230 into the mid 90s, and that's where we start to work in some rain and storms through the afternoon, and that continues into the late evening hours through 7 o'clock, even to 10. I think we could see some lingering rainfall and then going into Monday, we'll start to see more rainfall moving in, and that is because of that front that's going to be pushing in. So I've elevated our rain chances about a 70% as we go into Monday and Tuesday and then a 50 50 shot on Wednesday. So there's that front pushes all this moisture toward the south. And then the question still is how far south this front is going to push. That's going to determine how much cooler our temperatures get and how much lower our rain chances go. So right now I still have a good shot at some rainfall through Wednesday, slightly lower on Thursday, and then they increase again as we go toward next weekend with highs back into the mid 90s.